Right folks, been a while on it, bit of bimbler. Uh, just picked up my new jacket today, Montane Hydrogen Smock. Uh, take on old pile and pertex, uh, but using one of my favourite insulators, the old Polytech Alpha. I have about five Polytech Alpha garments now, in different guises for different uses. Uh, I'll be doing a review on them at some point. I know I've been a bit slow lately, uh, life things and such. So yeah, uh, just a quick first impression, uh, and it's not an art box, I've been out walking. You can see how many woods, you can see my breath, it's, uh, it's pretty nippy. Uh, about one degree, no window. Uh, so hydrogen smoke, first impressions, I'm absolutely loving it. You first put it on, you don't get that warmth, but a lot of folk think Alpha will, will give you warmth. It doesn't, what it does is it regulates your warmth. So the harder you work, the better it wicks your sweat, but it just keeps you like a, it's like baby bear's porridge. It's just right. You know, it's just not too hot, not too cold. You're just right. So like I said, I've been walking about, I've done about two miles, uh, brisk pace, and I just feel just right. I could feel myself warming up a little bit. Uh, underneath I've just got a really thin running t-shirt on uh, so yeah a few features straight away I like the, the sizing I'm a large jackets are large fits good uh, decent arm length well, I'm talking about arms it doesn't have dedicated thumb loops it's not one of them sort of jackets but you can see you know you can just wrap velcro over uh, and it, it, it gives you gives you a decent bit of wrist coverage what I really like about arms, and with all my jackets, is that I can roll the sleeves up. So if you want that extra venting, it's a win. Uh, a lot of garments like the Buffalo shirts, a bit tight on wrist. Uh, I've got an old Mardale pile and Pertex smock, and I bought that just because arms go up. Uh, but again, they're different beasts, they're, they are more about insulation. Uh, so Velcro, yeah. Then I've done it with, you can't see, it's a bit hard with torch light. Then I've done it with Velcro widths, trying to keep all the weights down. Another nice feature, so you've got your zip, it's a double zipper. So you can dump your heat out and you're not having to and, and too much exposure. Also with two way zipper what you can do is, I'll show you in a bit when we get round to hood. Uh, so hood, talk about that. I've already got it pretty cinched up. Uh, it's three way cinchable, pull it at back as normal. As you can see, when it's cinched up, gives you a good bit of protection, nearly covers cheeks, which is a bonus if it's really cold. Uh, with adjustability to back it off, you've got your, your bog standard walking jacket type affair, gives you a bit of room. Uh, now, I'm not always a fan of jackets that have the pullers on inside. But again, because you can, with a double zip, you can just reach inside, cinch it down, tuck it in. Obviously, if it's blowing an early, you've probably already done that. And then pull your zip back down, and that's you, you cinched in. Brim. It's got a wired brim, stiffened, uh, and it has got like a, an elastication comes underneath brim. In a full on wind, you might get a bit of a brim flap, uh, but it should fare quite well. You could mould it, I'm not going to do that just yet, uh, and see how you go with that. Moves nicely with head, uh, side to side vision, so double thumbs up on that. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite quite pleased with Hood. Uh, let's drop that down now. Again, on pile and Pertex style, uh, it's got, we'll talk about drop pocket first. Got a nice little drop pocket here. Uh, closed it, opened it, closed it. Uh, it's not massive. Uh, similar size to what's on a Buffalo, but not like a Snug Packer and a, a Mardale. You could easily put, you know, some snacks in there, your compass or whatever else, pair of gloves. You know, there's plenty of room. I dare say you get an OS map, you know, folded up right way. Uh, pass through pocket like a, a regular smock again it's got a nice light thermal I don't know if you can make that out with torch light like a nice thermal type suede again what you get featured on a lot of outdoor jackets these days and then you've got your uh, just put pockets up 
Then you've got your, your side vents. Again, how I work them is, if I'm walking, it's blowing a wind and I need to vent off, I'll open it up to opposite side at wind. Let me eat out that way. There's no point letting that cold ash wind come in straight away and, and give you a super chill. Unless you're boiling red hot. Then you could do that, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, side zips. They run both ways. Uh, again, a bit hard to see with torch light. Sorry for not being set up better. But I'm a worker. I'm not a pro. I use my gear. Uh, again, just like a regular smock, really. So that'll help you lift it on and off. Uh, so yeah, they seem all right. I had, and had no uh, no snags with zippers yet. I'm still getting used to remembering which zip I've pulled which way. Velcro on bottoms. I'd like to a little bit more Velcro to really snug it in. You can't see, uh, I don't think. But the the Velcro is not enough. I'd say, you know, for the sake of a couple of grams, they could have put a bit more Velcro on, and then you'd have been really built to to cinch it in. Got a decent, again, you probably can't see, got a decent uh, bump cover area, asshole, rump, whatever. Uh, that works well. So, yeah, so far, I'm really impressed with it. I haven't weighed my particular jacket yet, uh, but you'll find all the specs online if you're looking at them anyway. Uh, supposedly durable, you've got your Pertex Quantum outer and Pertex, one of others uh, in different areas, maybe inside. Uh, so, yeah, this air. Uh, Durable wrap roll for repellency, which you get with any jacket these days as a as a basic. Uh, but it's I think it's woven in, so it should last quite a while. But with these jackets, like I said they're designed in a way to work like a pile and pertex. Uh, the more you you're sweating and hiking or running or whatever else, the heat you're generating and the the wicking properties of that Bolotech Alpha raw. I love it. Uh, it should push some of the moisture back out and, and keep you at that stable temperature. Now, I've got a, a 20 mile run from Marsdale to Eden coming up, fell race, uh, in two weeks. I bought this primary, I bought this, hopefully, if the weather's cold enough, this will be my choice of wear. But it feels so thin and so light, good movement, you know, I think it'll work as a running top with a vest on. Uh, it'll not hamper my breathability. I should still be able to vent with my vest uh, And I'll probably just wear a bringy uh, Which I'll be doing a couple of reviews on them because I'm in love with them uh, a bringy mesh net top on And I'm, I think it'll work really well now. Why would I be wearing a jacket that's 120 gram Polytech Alpha? Apparently with 34 or 37 runners last year. They had onset of hypothermia. I'm hoping to avoid that uh, But you never know Seasons are funny at the minute, aren't they? You know, we've had it really mild. Uh, we've had some really cold ones as well. I've, you know, I've done a minus, it was minus 6.7 inside my shelter out at Windchill uh, with snow down, and that's only like four weeks in. So, yeah, uh, once I've, I've really put it to some use, done some running in it, done some hiking in it, uh, I'll probably update it. Thanks for looking in again, folks, and uh, I'll try and be a bit better with it uh, forthcoming reviews. So, there'll be a few Polytech Alpha garments. Uh, might be a running vest uh, and different running shoes as well. Still hiking, but I'm more fast packing and I'm doing a lot of running now. So I'm heading up towards ultras. I did a 50 mile or a bit back, uh, and my focus is equally to that as what it is fast packing. So may fast packs be light, uh, be easy, wind on your back, sun in your face, not too much. Don't forget your peak cap, which has just reminded me I'll have to wear that because we're running in that direction. Right, cheers folks, see ya.